Hello, my name is Laura Turon and I'm a multidisciplinary artist from El Paso. Today we will be working on a workshop learning about anamorphic drawing. This workshop was developed in collaboration with the EM Lab at the University of Texas El Paso. Before we begin, I would like to talk a little bit about what is anamorphism. Anamorphic drawing is a distorted image that when seen from a certain point of view or through a device it can be seen as a proportionate image. An example for this type of art is the chalk artists that use anamorphic drawing to distort and stretch their images that can be seen from a certain point of view for it to look three-dimensional. A contemporary artist that uses anamorphic drawing in his illustrations and animations is William Kendrich. He creates these animations that are stretched and distorted that when reflected in a mirror cylinder, they look proportionate. Today we will be creating a grid to create our own anamorphic drawing. Materials. We need a blank sheet of paper. Our grid template. Pencil, protractor, compass, foil paper, ruler, and a little bit of tape. It can be any kind of tape. We're going to begin by finding the middle of our paper and marking the very center. So in this case, we're going to mark in the middle long ways 5.5 and up and down, we're going to mark 4.25 inches. We're going to create this small line to mark where the middle is, kind of like a small cross. After that, we're going to get our compass. And if you have the type of compass that has the measurements in it, we're going to mark it at 3 centimeters. If you don't have the compass that has the measurements in it, you can use your ruler and set up the size of your compass to be three centimeters. And that way you can know that the size of your circle will be that. After we have all that set, we're gonna create our circle. Make sure to press on the middle section of the compass so your compass doesn't move that much. You're also to hold with your other hand the paper. Okay, so there's our circle. After that, we're gonna create eight more circles and we're gonna adjust if your compass has the measurements in it one centimeter apart. And our measurement of the compass or with the ruler add on one centimeter and then mark it so we can set up our compass from the center of the circle to our mark and keep on adding circles so we continue adding one centimeter to the size of the circle We're going to continue doing this up until we make 8 circles.
after we're done with the circles we're gonna split our circle in half for that we're gonna mark on each side of the paper the middle point which is 4.25 inches after we mark it we're gonna draw a line going across the entire circle After we're done with our line, we're gonna place our protector, making sure it's lined up with the line at the 180 and 0 degree points. And we also need to make sure that it's centered in the very middle of our mark of the circle, the very middle of the line. From there, we're gonna get our grid paper that has the reference numbers of the degrees where we're gonna mark our lines. After our protector is in place, we're gonna add a mark at the degrees of 22.5, 45, 67.5, 90 degrees, 112.5, 135, 157.5, and 180. Once we have marked this, we're gonna draw a line from our middle point up into each mark that we made to draw a line. Once we're done, we're gonna add two additional lines on the top to use as reference to add our numbers to each line. So the middle circle, the one in the very middle, that line is considered line number zero. So we're gonna start labeling it as zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Same thing on the other side. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Remember, these lines are for reference only and we're not gonna be using these lines. So we need to imagine that these lines are invisible. So we're gonna label it as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, so now we're gonna get our regular grid, which is this one. 
and we're gonna make our drawing. We need to keep our drawings super simple while you get used to drawing like this. That way we can translate this grid into the anamorphic grid. So make your drawing. We're gonna use this reference, our grid, and try to mimic what we did, but following the curves and the distorted image, or the distortion of the curves in our anamorphic grid. Remember, our straight lines need to be kind of curved following the circle. So point to point, corner to corner, needs to be a curve following the shape of the circle. It's a little bit complicated at first, but once you get used to it, it gets a little simple. Remember, you can have your eraser to make sure you fix any lines in case you make any mistakes. After we're done with the drawing, we're gonna connect the sides of our mirror foil to create the cylinder. That's gonna be placed in the middle of our grid so we can see the reflection of our anamorphic drawing for it to be seen in the correct way. If you feel like you need to adjust your drawing, you can use a mirror to see how your, your drawing looks like and from there you can adjust. But after you get used to it, it will be a little bit more simple. Once we're done with our drawing, we're going to use our Sharpie or marker to outline the drawing and then we can color it if we want. And that's it, have fun. You can create as many drawings that you like and you can create as many grids as you like. Just keep on practicing and you will get better little by little. I hope you have a good time taking this workshop and that it was fun. If you would like to follow me on social media and learn more about my work, my Instagram is at turonlaura. And my Facebook is Laura Turon Art. Thank you so much.